Hi Chemistry, Mrs. KJ here going over 3.06 percent concentration. Have your calculator ready. How have we shown concentration so far? Do you remember any of them off the top of your head? We've done molarity, which is moles of a solute, divided by liters of solution. We did molality, which is mole solute, divided by kilogram of solvent. And we did the mole fraction, either for the solute and divide by the total moles of solution, or moles of solvent, divided by, once again, total moles of the solution. Now we're going to talk about ways to use percent concentration. And we talked a little bit about this in the very first lesson of Unit 3, when I talked about solutions. So if we have a solid solute dissolved in a solid, or a solid solute dissolved in a liquid solvent, we can use a mass mass percent, assuming of course that we have the mass of the solute and the mass of the entire solution. We times by 100 and that equals a percent. So let's go ahead and use our formula. So we have the mass of salt divided by the mass of solution. So if we just look at these two pictures, which one is more concentrated, the left or the right? Well, the left beaker is more concentrated, you can tell, because you can see more of the solute, in this case, the white salt. So to find our percent, we have our mass of solute divided by mass of solution. So put that in your handy dandy calculator. We have 5 grams of solute divided by 100 grams total times 100 gives us what? 5%. Okay, so let's look at this one. This one is less concentrated and we have 2 grams of solute salt, 100 grams of solution. What would my final answer be? My final answer is 2 divided by 100 times 100 equals 2%. So pretty easy if they give you the 100 grams, right? If you notice that, if the entire solution is 100 grams, since you're dividing by 100, and then timesing by 100, however much solute you have is what percentage you have. It's not always that cut and dry, but it is sometimes. So which one of these is more concentrated? The one on the left or the one on the right? The one on the left. And what percent salt is it? 10% versus only 3% concentration. So 10% salt is more concentrated. Our solution is 100 grams. How much salt was used? So we're going to go backwards a little bit. We know our total was 100 grams times 0.10. Where did I get 0.10 from? Well, it was 10%. 10% divided by 100 gives you 0.10. So when you put percents in your calculator, remember you have to change them into a decimal by dividing by 100. So really, what I did was I took 10 divided by 100, okay? And when I did that, that gives me my 0.10, and my final answer is 10 grams. So because my total solution was 100 grams, 10 grams also happens to be 10%. All right, so let's do a problem that's a little bit harder. This is dextrose crystals. Any biological chemical that ends in ose is a sugar. You might have remembered that. It's a sugar. So dextrose is a sugar. Look at a problem in which concentration is calculated in a mass mass percent. Dextrose is a simple sugar that dissolves easily in water and is used by both plants and animals for energy. A laboratory technician is asked to make up a 3,000 gram solution in which the sugar dextrose is mixed with water. The final concentration of dextrose is to be 5%. How much dextrose does the technician add? All right, list what you know. We have 3,000 grams and 5%. We have 3,000 grams of what? That's our solution and 5% is our concentration. Look at your cheat sheet. What formula is going to use this stuff? So I have the mass of solution and I have the concentration. My formula is mass solute divided by mass concentration times 100 equals a percentage. So we plug in our numbers. 
x is what we're solving for because we don't know our mass solute divided by our mass of our solution which is 3000 grams times 100 equals 5 percent now we're going to change this 5 percent right away by dividing it by 100 we can do that because we're going to divide this side by 100 to get rid of that 100 we're going to divide that by 100 and that gives us our decimal so x over 3000 grams equals 0 0.05 we're finding the mass of the solute. This is how much the solution is. That's our final percent that we wanted to make. How do we get the x by itself? We multiply both sides by 3,000. So these two 3,000s are going to cancel. And we're going to take 3,000 times 0 0.05. What do you get? x equals 150. Okay, that's great, but what is that? 150 what? Well, it's 150 grams of dextrose was used. And then you can check your answer. Put it back in here. So we said we found 150 grams. Divide that by 3,000 times it by 100. And what should you get? You should get 5%. Okay, so you can check your answer on this one. It's a good thing to do. Okay, so now we're going to look at another way to use percent concentration. A liquid solute is dissolved in a liquid solvent. Use a volume, volume percent. Isopropanol alcohol used to treat and clean minor cuts and scrapes may be 91% alcohol. That is, it contains 91 milliliters of isopropyl alcohol mixed with 9 milliliters of water to make a 100 milliliter solution. This 91% is called a percent solution. So all of this red would represent what? 91%, this is how much is the isopropyl alcohol. 9% is how much water. The entire thing is 100%. Likewise, labels on fruit juice containers often state the amount of juice that is actually in the drink by using percent solution. A label might say, now with 25% real juice. This statement means that 25 milliliters of real juice is in a solution that contains enough water to make a total of 100 milliliters. So 25% is juice, 25 milliliters of juice, 75% or 75 milliliters of water. So the whole thing adds up to 100% or 100 milliliters. If a 100 milliliter solution contains 60 milliliters of water and 40 milliliters of orange juice, what is the percent concentration? Well, first of all, which one is the solute? The solute would be the orange juice. And how much do you have? You have 40 milliliters of orange juice divided by the total. The total is 100 times it by 100 to get our percent. Now again, we're going to use a formula, and our formula this time is percent of solute equals volume of the solute divided by volume of the solution times 100%. So instead of mass, we're doing volume. So the amount of the solute divided by the total amount times 100, and your answer is 40%. So it's a 40% concentration of orange juice. If a fifth 500 milliliter solution contains 300 milliliters of water and 200 milliliters of orange juice. What is the percent concentration? Here's your formula. Hit pause and figure it out. What's the solute? The OJ. So we have our orange juice divided by our total solution amount times 100 equals a 40% concentration. All right, let's do another one. If a 75 milliliter solution contains water and 50 milliliters of orange juice, what is the percent concentration? Okay, list what we know. The 50 milliliters is our what? The orange juice, which is the solute. 75 milliliters is our solution. What's your answer? 50 divided by 75 times 100 equals 66.66 what? Percent. And that would be your final answer. So again, make sure you list everything you know. Some of them are easy in that you can just kind of figure it out by looking at them. But you do have to know how to do the equations because they're not always ones you can do in your head. As always, come see me when you need help.